All right, everyone. Hello and welcome into what I believe is going to be a 17 to three final uh, victory for the Minnesota Vikings over the Chicago Bears tonight for Monday Night Football in Chicago. The game is still going on. I actually decided to hit record with about two minutes left to go. Uh, now there's actually 30 seconds left to go. So it took me about a minute and a half to get set up. So um, yeah, it looks like this is now L proof. The Minnesota Vikings are going to escape Chicago with a win. And I mean escape in all sense of the word and definition because <laughs> brutal. Um, we, we can't have nice things. Even when we win, we cannot have nice things. This was disgusting. Uh, before I get into my reactions to tonight's game, don't forget to leave a comment on this video because you could potentially be featured in tomorrow's video the day after Chicago. So the way that this works, if you're new around here, is that you leave a vid or you leave a comment on this video here, the post game video that I could potentially select to be featured in tomorrow's video where I will react to it. So tomorrow is your comments, my reactions, our video the day after Chicago. So don't forget to keep the, the, the comments that you want to post on this video short and concise and to the point because the screen caps can only be so large. So let me know what you're thinking after this absolutely putrid Monday Night Football primetime game. Disgusting. Whoever scheduled this needs to be fired. There's so many people that need to be fired for this debauchery that we're witnessing tonight. And uh, we got about 23 seconds left. Bears are at midfield, and this game's over. It's been over since the half. But um, so this is a gift. This is the, the 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 most I have ever seen a team in any professional sport just hand over the game. Right? The Bears just conceded the W basically from the get go. Um, it's it's just been completely awful from Chicago. The, the Vikings are 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 not a, a, above criticism tonight. They have been fucking horrible as well um you know the reason that they're going to win this game is because the defense was able to hold uh you know in in true bend but not bend but don't break fashion um hold off the chicago bears with like six trips inside the minnesota vikings 30 or 31 yard line and only come away with three points um and, and then the the officiating in this game has just been absolutely terrible this league is a joke when it comes to understanding its own rules and enforcing them, because my God, the refs made this absolutely all about themselves uh, for tonight's game. They were the main attraction and they wanted everybody to know who they were and what their jobs were. And their jobs were just to put everybody at their fucking mercy. And I am just, I'm just absolutely sick of it. Um, you know, you watch other sports and any of any of the other professional leagues. Yeah, there's going to be questionable calls. And I've been on the record on this channel of having said multiple times over that I will never blame the refs for losing a game because bad calls happen to everybody. I will, however, highly criticize a complete dog shit performance by what is supposed to be the most popular sport in the league. And I, I think the uh, Wow Fields actually just scored a last second touchdown. I mean, credit to him for not giving up. So the final is actually going to be 17-9, to 9, it looks like. No time left on the clock. Uh, so, yeah, it's a, it's a one-score game <laughs> if you count the two-point conversion. Um, Jesus. Jesus, God. So l l let's put that into perspective. If we had not been gifted, now that that just happened, if we had not been gifted that touchdown drive thanks to the, the two what I would say are questionable um, personal foul penalties by the Bears that resulted in about 30 yards and two free th uh, two free third downs, uh, free first downs. It would be 10 to three right now, and uh, they'd be going for the extra point because it would matter. And the only reason that it doesn't matter is because we got that free touchdown drive uh, that was caught by Amir Smith Marset in the red zone. Uh, just unbelievable, just unbelievable. I am so flustered and frustrated with this fucking team. Um, I we're seven and seven. We're still alive in the playoff hunt, which is which that tells me, um, you know, looking at this from a, a larger perspective, is that the seventh seed in the playoffs was an absolute mistake, and they need to go back to the drawing board and rescind that. The only six teams from each conference clearly are good enough to be in the playoffs and even be considered for postseason contention because this. With this NFC, uh, you know, situation right now, with all these teams at seven and seven fighting for that last play, last playoff spot, is a joke. You might as well just give the two seed a bye week. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> I am so flustered. Um, so yeah, just just a horrible game. 
Um, you know, Matt Nagy being the anti-hero tonight going up against the referees, uh, I was all for that. It's kind of, you know, it makes me feel bad that he absolutely needs to be fired. But, you know, he was doing all he, all that he can, you know, when what's likely going to be one of, uh, likely going to be his last season. I wouldn't even be surprised if he gets fired tomorrow. Um, his play calling is god awful. I mean, you want to talk about what it would look like if Clint Kubiak ever became a head coach in this league, uh, he would be Matt Nagy 2.0. I guarantee it. His play calling is so stupid. Um, it is questionable at best. Uh, the the times that he calls certain plays, the, the the down and distance where he calls certain plays, how he just completely you know is incapable of utilizing uh, the God-given talents uh, that are present in Justin Fields and just throwing him to the wolves, just inexcusable coaching. Um, I think the I think the Bears might be worse than the Lions, if I could just put it that way. I, I think uh, Dan Campbell is a better coach than Matt Nagy. I'm going to say that right now. Um, more criticism for the Vikings goes towards the offense for, you know, Kirk Cousins after the interception, which, you know, it, it's ticky-tack to call that his fault. Um, Justin Jefferson was held and basically shoved down, and the referees missed that penalty. Um, but it seemed like after the interception, he just kind of disappeared and was, you know, not having it anymore. The, the entire offense just sputtered and was dead the entire second half. It's just miserable. We 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 came into a game tonight against the Chicago Bears with a secondary that was made up of spare parts at the last fucking minute that had no continuity. Um, guys that aren't going to be playing on rosters in a week or two. And the best that our passing game could do was 87 yards, is what I think Kirk Cousins finished with tonight. And thank God that that's all we needed. The, the incompetence of this team, for as talented as we say it is, is just frustratingly unforgivable. I, I am at a loss for words, week in and week out, watching this team just, you know, try not to win. They, they just try not to win. and But, you know... You can't say that tonight because the Bears were just so much worse, and the the officials basically just helped us for the most part. Um, you know, there is you know, and of course, you know, we were the victims of a couple of bad calls too, like the uh, aforementioned missed, uh, you know, ghost tackle on Justin Jefferson that led to the interception, and then the Eric Hendricks ejection I think was a little aggressive. Is it the right penalty? Yes. Um, obviously, in that situation, you got to pull up. You can't be hitting the quarterback, especially in the head. Did it warrant an ejection? I don't know. I'm on the fence about that, but I would lean no. I think that that was a little insane. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. I, I don't, if you're still on like, uh, you know, team playoffs, or if you're a Vikings fan who thinks that all that this team needs to do is get to the playoffs and make some, make some, uh, you know, that they could potentially make some noise if they just get in. What did you see tonight that inspires confidence in that? How have you not changed your mind yet? How do you not want this to just go away? I, like, I just got a notification as I'm recording this from ESPN that Vikings are still in the playoff hunt. For what reason? You think that we're going to go on the road to Tampa Bay or Green Bay or, 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 you know, Los Angeles and win a football game that's meaningful in January? I highly doubt it. By what we just watched today, it's it's not going to happen. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Um, so yeah, I, despite winning the game and despite everybody keeping their jobs and despite us getting to 500 and still being in the live in the playoff hunt, this feels like a loss. It really does. This is the first time where you were gift wrapped a W you should have won 34 to three and you end up winning a one score game, 17 to nine, even though that that touchdown at the end was garbage time. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. Am I being overcritical? Am I being too harsh? You know, uh, you know, people in the comments have pointed out sometimes where I may have been going a little too far. I just, I'm just, I expect more. I, I expect so much more. And you know, people are going to say, "Well, this is the Bears, and this is Monday Night Football in, in Chicago at Soldier Field. It's always this bad." Does it have to be? Does it have to continue? To be this ridiculous where we get put on primetime national television and everybody is turning the game off at halftime because nobody can stomach the product on the field. I had a I had friends in the group chat that I was texting during the game saying they turned it off. They couldn't stand it. And, uh, it, you know, there's a lot of reasons for that, not just the Vikings. You know, the Bears were terrible. The officials were terrible. And I got to say, the, um, the ESPN Monday night crew that does the broadcasting for Monday Night Football games, they need to be replaced because it's just not good. Um, yeah, so a terrible experience all around. Um, I, I just, we, we don't deserve to be on national TV and we shouldn't be on national TV, but that's how I feel after this win over the Chicago Bears tonight uh, with the assist going to the referees for that um, free touchdown drive. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. I will react to your comments sometime at some point tomorrow. That video 
will go up sometime tomorrow before the end of the day. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.